Good morning, everyone. Here we at. Good morning, everyone. Here the legendary artist Menachem Halberstadt, uh, known for his uh, paintings in Stissel. So, Menachem, did you think? Uh, tell us how you got. I guess we'll start from the beginning. Menachem, where are you from? Well, I'm from Israel, Tkoa, just uh, close to Jerusalem. And uh, what's your background? Did you? Like school, art school, like tell us more. Yeah, I learned in some art schools in Israel and also from some famous artists like uh, Leonid Balaklav, Aram Gershun, and Mark and I. So I learned painting and drawing, all this watercolor, etc. So, how long have you been painting for? What age? Well, I think from, I would, from since I really remember myself, I'm drawing. But professionally, maybe something like eight years ago. Eight? No, 20, 20, 20 years ago. And uh, yeah, I'm also an illustrator and a painter. What was the first thing you got paid to uh, paint? The first thing that what? That someone paid you to paint. I did some illustration for the Makori Shon newspaper. Actually, I worked there. Till, till now, 15 years ago, I did some. Menachem, what was the first thing you got paid to paint? I worked with an uh, Israeli newspaper that's called Makori Shon. And uh, there is a Musaf Shabbat. Uh, every Shabbat, uh, there is a special uh, magazine of thought, philosophy, poetry. And I worked there for 15 years, and my first installation, I think, was there. How did they find you? Well, actually, one of the editors just learned with me in the yeshiva and lived with me in the same uh, same house. So we know each other, and he gave me the chance. Um, next, what's our next, next question? So what, tell us, Stissel, how to happen? How did you bump into the Stissel uh, well, creative team? Again, uh, people, and a good friend of mine, uh, Ori Elon, which is the, one of the main uh, writers, uh, he know me since I was a child. So we're good friends and we're doing a lot of things together, uh, children books, and uh, etc. And uh, he invited me to, to make uh, the art. I, I need to do some audition, artistic audition, and I got through, and they, they get me. So how did you decide who's painting what for the show? What? Yeah. Why was it split between two artists? Why didn't they just have one artist do everything? I think they, they want something a bit different after the first season. And then in the third season, with this the, the mixture, I did something uh, specific, the, the, the big charcoal drawing. And uh, he continues to do the oils. So you're are you in the first season or no? Yeah, I am. So you're in the first and third? Yeah, first and third. Yeah. Not the second? Not the second. What happened in the second? I think they want something a bit different, maybe more realistic. Uh, I mean by style. So they took him, Alex, which is a great artist, but they're doing a bit different style for me. He was in the first season or no? No, not at all. Oh, so you were the first? Yeah, I'm in the first. I did all the art. And it's the Kiva's Notebooks. And in the third, I did some oils and the big chocolate. Bread. Gotcha. So he only came in the second? Yeah. He only did the second, you did both did the third? He did, in the third he also did some more. And you didn't do any in the second? No. Gotcha. Um, were you were you on set for the show, part of it? Yeah, some? I need to be on set. Actually, in both season, the, the first and the third, they need to, uh, to shoot my hand. As gave a drawing, and also I did some uh, on set. I did some uh, different stages in the developing of the painting. So I made, I did the the ready painting at home, my studio, and then on set we did some different stages, so they can shoot different stages of the development of the painting. Got you. I mean, after they did the story in the New York Times, what was the reaction uh, you got from people? I got a lot of. Really, a lot of emails for all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, fans, and also from you. <laughs> also, yeah. 
got you. Um, do people recognize you by face or not yet? No, no. Mo not yet. Not. Mo Hashem, they not. And uh, I don't know, maybe some. Maybe in Israel. How was your first show in New York? What was the experience like? That was a great experience. If you and if you the gallery. And uh, very, very nice people. And also, it was a mitzvah. So it's also very, I don't know, it's very, very good. Just maybe strange mixture between art and uh, Vasim Tovim. But I don't know, it's, 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 it, it, it's feel good. It feels good and it was very, very nice. Your first few days in New York, what do you think about New York? Great place. Do you want to move here? I, I, I think I, I won't live here, but I, I definitely will come uh, more. Very, very nice place. And I feel, in a way, I think every Jewish is also belongs to New York somehow. They call it Jew York. Yeah, Jew York. I, I can feel it, especially in this neighborhood. What's the most surprising thing about America? The most, surprising the most different. Is What's the most different? different? I think the, the, you know the, the sizes. Everything is much bigger and much wider and much uh, is endless options of everything. And on the, on the other side, of some, some different way, people are more, uh, much less stressed, much more calm. And in, in New York? Yeah, I think. In a way, you know, there's different kind of stress, I think. But in Israel, there's some tough stress. And it was tough. How do you get inspiration of what to paint, what to draw? There's so many ideas, so many wow. this. This is the question. And I think inspiration, there's a very, very famous singer-songwriter, Leonard Cohen, the Canadian, the Jewish Canadian. And he says a sentence that's going with me. He said, if your life burns in ashes, poetry will be the... If you, again, if your life burns in fire, poetry will be the ashes. So, if inspiration in art is you have to live in inspiration life, inspiration of life. And that's how you get the inspiration, the life giving you. You mentioned that uh, at the show, something about uh, you, it's something that really uh, connected to me about being snapshots of life. Could you please elaborate on that? Yeah, I didn't say the word snapshot, but yeah, I think what artist does, what the painter do. It's capturing little details in life. Uh, contemporary, uh, contemporary, no, yeah, contemporary uh, details and making them, making them internal. You can, you can. I can see that's when I'm painting something. People now looking different. I, I, for example, I just paint in my, uh, where I live in Tukwa, some corner. You know this. Water tower and a car that doesn't work, with some yellow grass, nothing special. And when I, I paint it, someone asks me, now I, I, only in a few, a few hours, special hours, I can see it like this. And now I'm looking different on this little spot. But that's what, art, that's what art is. So you're like highlighting something that people don't notice. Yeah, yeah. And actually, it's, it's happened all the time. Each, each point of the universe, it's special. You can look at look at it with uh, unique eyes. So, would you say that an art gallery highlights artists in the same way that they say, yeah. "Please focus on this artist and not the other artist," yeah, that's nice. in a similar way? Yeah, that's the same. So, we need to do gallery for each person on the wall. So you can, uh, you can notice this one, this one, even another. One. Yeah. Because really, what a gallery is, you have, let's say, every week. 10 artists reach out to us and we pick one out of every 100. Yeah. So really we're taking everything and we're fo we're telling people to focus on this artist, yeah. this yeah. painting, yeah. in a similar way, perhaps. Yeah, this is very important nowadays because we're all uh, overwhelmed with images by the internet. Someone needs to help people to, to tell them, look, this is special. You can look 
this. Curation. Yeah. Really, that's what life is about. You know, you're curating who do you want to deal with. Yeah. How do you want to deal with your time? You know, exactly. opportunity. You're deciding this, not that. That choices. Yeah, choices. Yeah. What is your favorite painting you ever made? By me or by, by who? You. Well, my favorite piece, I just told you about it. About it. The corner in Tacoa. The corner in Tacoa, yeah. For now. But always the good answer, the best answer is my next, my next painting. Your next painting? Yeah, because, because I always not satisfy myself with what I've done already. I, I always know I can, I know I can do more. It's interesting that me and my partner, when we saw your artwork at first, we were not so inspired. We thought maybe the, the content or whatever. And then the second we put you on the job, suddenly you pulled, pushed out content that really fits our audience. Could you tell us about that and, uh, and the change? I mean, did you what inspired the change? Did you see what we're selling already? Or well, well, actually, I, I did the Stissel work. It is fits to your audience, but I do all kinds of things, and I, I have a lot of different audiences which I uh, which I'm talking to, and it, it was both the audience and the Jerusalem theme. Because we did the, the show at Tushat Ayamim, and this Jerusalem thing was, was... And the charity is a yeah, Israeli the charity. charity. And, the, and Jerusalem. The, 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 city, you know, the, the flyer. The flyer was, we never forget Jerusalem. So then it's inspired me to do some Jerusalem art. In the Jewish art world, a big part of the art is scenes in Jerusalem and Tzvas. So that's like what people love that brings them the feeling, the experiences yeah. that they have in Israel. I really like Jerusalem. I, 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 I live around Jerusalem all my life. And I just have been with some special sites in Jerusalem, the city of David and the Kotel. I'm very connected to those places. Customers are asking about more color in your painting. Do you prefer charcoal method or just the way it is? It's it, it just, it just what fits now for this travel. And uh, more convenience to, to put it, and you know it's more, uh, it's just faster to the drawings. For do painting, you need uh, to take the whole day and change your clothes, so it's much, much more hard to do it. How much do you listen to customers about what they want versus how much creativity you want to put yourself? What's the balance? It, dep it depends where, because I'm also work as an illustrator, and there I always listen to the customer. But in art, usually I'm not listen to what customers like but I do want to connect with them. They want to communicate. So I don't like the attitude that says I'm doing my art and I don't care a, a bit what I understand about or not. I, I do want to communicate, to, uh, to talk with someone. I have something to say but I need someone to listen. How does it feel you sell your first paintings in the United States, Manahan? What's the experience great. like? Feeling great. Very, very exciting to have something of mine in someone's house. Very, 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 very good feeling because what you have on the wall in your house is very important. People are not giving so much attention because it's some kind of unconscious decisions. But then, as a child, you will remember exactly what your grandfather head on the wall and it's kind of it's, it's, the, it's, it's becoming some some part of your personality a painting with color do you think it's less imaginative than black and white because black and white it's more but you have to generate your own like colors maybe no i think it is, it's just the same because you, you can do all kinds of things with, with colors you don't have to be super realistic you can do all kinds of things Menachem, how was your experience with the Levium Art Gallery? The experience was great, and still great, and uh, I hope it will be a long last year. What do you like about the Levium Art Gallery team? The team. No, really, I really like the team, I like the attitude, and uh, I'm feeling uh, that the most important thing is the, is the, the, the connection between people. This is the first. Sometimes in the art scene, in the art field, there's a lot of egos. And, uh, I don't know.
know if something went wrong. So a lot, a, a long, for a long time I didn't want to be part of this move. Because I feel in the illustration field, people are must, much more modest and doing their job and uh, it's, it's connected to, to, the, to the first question. They communicate, they try to communicate. In the outfit, sometimes there's a lot of ego in this thing. It's, it's uh, prestige and a lot of money. And here I feel something uh, that's very, very human, very, 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 with all the heart. Generosity. Great. Is there anything else you want to tell? your future art buyers that they should know about you. Wow. I don't know what to say. The future art buyers. I hope if they will be my buyers, I hope they will like and it will do something special for their life. That art could, can, can do something special for your life, for your house. And it's good, it's, it's good to be something deep. Look. Uh, painting or drawing, be connected to it. So I hope it's, it will inspire them. It's, the art it's, it will inspire the house, uh, it will open their eyes to see how everything in our world is so special. Uh, to see the light, because painting is about light. We, we, we only see light. So that, that's what I mean, what I'm asking. Great, thank you very much, Menachem. We look forward to working with you. Yeah, me too. And hopefully uh, we could bring awareness. I mean, and a little money also. Yeah, money, money. <laughs> to okay. everyone. Uh, and uh, hopefully we could do the best job we can possibly do. And people could appreciate and bring awareness to different snapshots of life.